Today, I'll be showing you on how to set up the Eternity Agent on a Windows machine. You may need to do this to evaluate the Eternity feature before mass deploying this out to the rest of the enterprise user. The setup process is relatively simple. The first thing you need to do is to download the Agent Installer. For that, simply navigate to support.riverbait.com under Software and Documentation Application Performance Management Steel Central Eternity and Eternity Agent. Under the drop down box, you can see that you can download the various uh, versions of Eternity Agent. For compatibility purpose, make sure you know what version your management server is running on before you proceed with the download. For example, Agent 9.1.7 is only compatible with management server version 10, while Agent 9.0.x is compatible with Eternity version 9 and Eternity version 10. You can also refer to our release notes for this information. For today's demonstration, I'll be connecting to a server running on version 10. Hence, I'll be downloading the latest agent installer. I have already downloaded the, uh, the 9.1.7 installer onto my local machine. As you can see, there are a few files here. This would be the installer file, and there are basically three batch files. Depending on the host machine where you want the agent to be installed on, you need to select these batch files accordingly. My demonstration is to install the agent on the Windows PC, hence I'll be selecting the desktop batch file. Open the file using any text editor. As you can see, this is just a typical MSI exec command. You can validate that the device type is what you have chosen earlier. For my case, it will be a desktop. And this is where you will specify the IP address of your aggregation server. If you do not have an aggregation server in your setup, uh, you can specify the IP address of your management server. If you are connecting to Eternity SaaS, you need to specify the account ID as well. But in my case, I'll be connecting to an on-prem deployment, hence this uh, parameter is not required. You can save this file. So after you save the file, open the command prompt as administrator. Navigate to the directory where the batch file was saved. And run the file. Give this a few seconds. So once this is done, you will see that there will be an installation log file created automatically on the directory. Should this installation fail, you can refer to this log file and check for any hint on what may have caused the failure. Now you can start the task manager to validate that the agent has been installed successfully. If so, under the service, you should be able to see two Eternity services running. Eternity service typically starts with A180, and there, would rightfully, there should rightfully be five Eternity processes running too. So right now, we only see three processes, T1, 
give it a few minutes and we should see the other two processors coming up. Once you see the one A180AG process running, you can log in to your management server and then you should be able to see your agent reporting into the server. Click under settings, agent, and key in the name of the host machine. And over here we can see that the agent has successfully report into the server. This marks the end of my demonstration. Thank you for watching.